guys, welcome on our channel, Pro Engineer in your tips and tricks. Today we are going to learn about the path module command in this tip which comes. Inside the command, I have shown you the some special tricks and the shortcuts which you can use uh, during the your model activation. Let's see, now I'm going to start our new model, so I'm going to click first. As for the first activity, I'm going to select my working directory. I have already created the one of the uh, PPT signal directory under my hard drive. Now, first go and take the part number and give your desired name which you want to put for your model. You can press OK. Here you can see a lot of things will come when you are going to start the model. Whenever you are going to choose the model and uh, want to make it in a mm manner just to the mm manner start powering if you have a model by name and description if you want to put you can put over here now you can see in the growing get as for getting that uh, data from the new part file from the for the restore command for the many models that are there we will prefer giving the three data and the one ordinary selection over here so here is the actual command under the model model tab under the get group. So first take the exclude command and go to the select main. And so one more thing so you can just uh, open you can explore everything the plane and everything. So you easily search from here or from model tab. Now go to the define and you take the plain one. Any one plane you can take, but preferable to take the front plane. And then the top one, the top plane should be this one. Now you go to sketch. We are completely a sketch oriented according to the your inclination. Now you can pick the references and pick the one rectangle or circle or whatever you want. So I am going to take the rectangle here. Taking the rectangle, I'm taking the construction center line to copy the elliptic line over here and then just take the same sketch. I will show you uh, the, the draw command details in, in my next video. can give your dimensions of the block. I am putting a 200, a 100, and then OK. I am putting the value of 50 mm height. Now, just take the extrude command. So, inside the extrude command, you can do one more thing. Let's just start. Uh, let's think about like if we have our one plane here. We want to cut the whole in depth of this one. So go and extrude. Take this one. And uh, now I have to cut a uh, one cylindrical sur face. The diameter could be uh, 50, 60. Here is the one trick. So people, what people are doing basically, people are doing the whenever you want to, um, many people are using a, uh, a push surface command. So no need to go here and take the a push surface. Simply press the shift button and drag this thing up to this one. And then you take the cut. Second, the tips here. Let's think about, so I have taken the, the sketch plane and I have taken the two references over here. And now I have closed the sketch references, sketch reference window. Now, I have started to take the line here, from here to here. But now, I thought that here should be a one reference line. So what people are doing normally, people are exit, doing the exit from the, that particular command and again taking 
the reference and then click the reference and then put the line over it. So, but best way to take the line, go here, press the alt button. During the alt button, the command will give a pop. Then you draw a command. Now, check the highlighted page here. So, now it's your reference. Make it a what rectangle? You can give some dimension. Click it now. Okay, so now in the figure 2.0 and in the latest version figure 3.0, PCC had done a good job on the making the graph angle using the extrude tool. See how it works. Go to the define. Now the same process, I'm going to do, click the one circle here, one circle, and give me dimension here, okay, now open, then I'm putting a dimension of 5 for this cylindrical face, I think it's 30, and now I want to put the one degree peripheral drop for this cylindrical surface. So what we have to do, just go to the option, add a taper angle and put the 5 degree angle. So you can put here, and I have, I have put a 5 degree because I want to show you to how it's easier. So now, the requirement of angle is 60. So, so now we do one more thing. Or the basic modeling practice. Whenever you complete the model, be sure you are going to hide all the things, all the data, stock, axis, and everything from the layer tree, and then put the same status, and then again go model tree and put your model as a default orientation 